In this video, I'm going to want to talk about our BKES uh, bearing kits. Here, um, this is on our website. You can see what our bearing kits look like. Um, they're, uh, they consist of these 3 quarter inch by 10 inch concrete anchor wedges, also called redheads. Uh, you know, you, you, have a, you have a 3 quarter inch, essentially an all thread or a bolt. You can use all thread instead. You have a nut and a washer. These are the steel actual the, uh, steel adapters and, and a neoprene pad, um, and you can see here uh, what they kind of look like. So, um, so that's um, that, that's a drawing of it. Let me show you what uh, what it looks like in um, in 3D. Let me pull over um, a typical um, bridge we have here. This this bridge here happens to be. Um, 240s. Uh, the BKES is going on our 40 foot long bridge decks. So you can see, um, uh, and this is this is just sitting on our standard precast abutment blocks. Um, so the way the way these work, you can see here you have uh, that that steel bearing tab uh, here and um, on our neoprene here, and it, and it's the same principle whether you use our precast or use cast in place. So let's um, uh, just for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to use our precast here. So the way this is going to work is um, um, when you when you're building the bridge or the abutments, this is going to be how the abutments look. Uh, if it was cast in place, it would be the same thing. We want we want it to be just a completely flat top. Okay, what the banks are, what the slope is, what the clear span is. That's not what we're talking about in this video. All we're talking about is how our how our BK ES bearing kits work. So once once you get the abutments installed, just like this, you're not going to pre-drill anything. This is pretty simple. Um, you're going to take your bridge decks, and when the crane gets there, uh, you're going to just set these set the bridge right on top of the uh, of the concrete. Um, the the actual neoprene here will will ship will ship loose. Um, so so once the bridge is being installed, you want to slide this little uh, bearing this neoprene pad underneath the bearing tab and um, both will have a hole going right into them just like that okay uh, just a nice big slotted hole uh, in this case we have two uh, decks side by side but it would be the same thing if you had one um, one only one deck so once you set it on your uh, on your concrete you're gonna send the crane away then you're gonna have um, you're just gonna have it sitting on your concrete just like that and then you're gonna want to take a three-quarter inch uh, drill concrete drill. You're going to want to drill through that concrete um, at least eight inches. Okay. And then in our kit, we supply here over here. I have drawn some uh, pretty crude um, uh, bolts just to kind of represent what we're talking about here. Some uh, some uh, redheads. So first, once that hole is drilled through, and you'll want to drill through all these holes. So in this particular case, we have now one, two, three, four. You'll have four holes you'll want to pre-drill. Uh, get those holes about eight inches deep. Our minimum, our minimum embed is usually six inches, but uh, drill eight inches just to be on the safe side. We supply you with ten-inch long um, bolts, these uh, anchor rods. And once you get those holes drilled, and you'll want to get them completely uh, cleaned out, uh, you'll want to stick this this um, this bolt. Oh, come on. You want to put that right inside the hole uh, and get it down all the way. Okay, um, you only need a few inches sticking up. But you only this is 10 inches long, and you only drilled it eight inches, so you're going to have at least two inches sticking up. Once you do that, you're going to take your you can take your flat washer. You're going to slip it right inside there, and then you're going to take your nut. Uh, you can take that nut, and you're going to uh, move that nut and uh, just thread it all the way down inside. Uh, um, if I can actually. Show this. This is um, it's harder to draw in uh, in three dimension. Let me let me get it on here real quick. All right, I was finally able to get that uh, that bolt uh, perfectly aligned there. So once you get that bolt on the uh, on that on the on the thread, you just screw it all the way down, and that that's how it's going to look. Okay, and that's all you really need to do. Obviously, these need to go. You know, this washer needs to go to the very bottom. And then um, 
this uh, nut is going to go all the way down as well. Okay, and then all you're going to do is, is finger tighten it plus half a turn. That's going to be good enough. You're going to want to do the same thing for, for each hole, this hole, that hole, all, all these different holes. You want to slip a bolt inside there. Okay, it's the same principle regardless if you're using uh, this. This happens to be two rail cars side by side. Let me go ahead and, um, and bring over another model. Um, this model here is uh, is uh, a 40 footer that's been extended out um, to 12 foot wide. It just happens to be what I, uh, what I was working on, but it's going to be the same thing. You, you're going to set the uh, you're going to set the concrete. Uh, your concrete will be ready just like this. Actually, in this example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this abutment here, this um, this precast. I'm just going to move it out of the way, move it back 20 feet, and let's say you just had. Um, you had some uh, uh, cast in place. Now let me draw a cast in place above in here. You can see here I already have my bolt ready to go. But let's say I had a uh, an abutment that was 36 inches by uh, 36 inches. Um, go back this way, 36, and back up 36. Okay. Oops, I went wrong there. I'll go up 36. Okay. And this is going to be whenever we design the abutments. Um, you don't want them just as wide as a bridge. Uh, you know, that, that would be eight foot there. Uh, we're going to make them. We'll bump that out twelve inches on this side. We'll bump this out over here. Um, this video isn't really about abutments. It's it's about the the bearing kit there. So I'm just going to skim over that. And call that abutment. Okay. So um, and how much? Overlap needs to happen that that's not really a part of this video, but but that that may be how your abutment looks, you know, so your abutment before the bridge gets there It may look something like this. Okay, so the bridge gets there. You're going to um, um, Set the set the bridge on top of the abutments the abutment is just completely flat up on top. Okay, once uh, uh, Once you set your bridge on that abutment and in our 40 footers with uh, with whatever they have come coming with them. They'll be already pre-assembled with the deck already on there The rails already on there. This video really isn't about all, all those details. It's just about the uh, the bearing kit there So you'll have the neoprene pad that slips underneath there and you'll have that slot Okay slot just goes right through that allows you to um, To take that drill three uh, three-quarter inch uh, masonry drill bit all right um, and then you'll this is uh, three-quarter by ten uh, bolt that I have here. You'll want to set that inside there clean out the hole This is 10 inches. So you'll want to embed it down to about two inches there uh, Okay, uh, hopefully you know how to uh, work with those anchor bolts um, If not talk to your uh, bolt distributor about that then you're going to take the flat washer you're going to put the flat washer um, Around that hole. Let me get that lined up for you. Uh, hold on a second All right, so you'll put the flat washer on there and uh, for this purpose, it, it seems close enough to me. Okay, so you put the flat washer down there, then you take this bolt and you run the bolt all the way through. Uh, set that on there. You want a finger tight plus half a turn. And that's all there really is to it. So uh, um, you don't really have to weld anything. You don't have to um, uh, wait for the crane to, to, to do anything. You just set the crane, you have, set the bridge on the uh, on the abutments, and you just drill it right through. Okay. Um, let me show you what that looks like um, on our drawings. Uh, if you were to get our engineering drawings, this is kind of what it looks like here. You can see these little tabs. Um, uh, this abutment happened to be uh, drawn at 11 foot. But you can see these little tabs. Those are the tabs that we're talking about. Okay. Um, this bridge was drawn at a slight grade, but you can see here what that uh, what that kit looks like. Okay. Um, they're, they're pretty simple to, to work with. Um, you don't have to do any kind of welding or any kind of pre-planning. Uh, so long as this, this pad fits on your concrete and the concrete is flat, you'll just drill right through that and, uh, and install that bridge. It's a really simple process. Um, you don't have to go up underneath there for anything. Everything is done from the, uh, from the bank side over here. You have plenty of room. There, there's nothing obstructing it. So you can see this This actual, this bridge is 40 foot, but the 40 foot measures to, to right here. So the actual over length of this bridge with these tabs on there, since these are six inches, the overall bridge length now is really 41 feet. 
um, since these are six inches on each side. And this exact same thing will, will, uh, will you do the same thing on the other side, but you know, they're abutment. And you can see these, uh, these aren't just holes, they're slots. Um, so that, that allows this, uh, this bridge to, um, to slide back and forth on those abutments and not breaking your abutments or anything because this bridge will, will slide uh, every season. Um, that's, all, that's all there is to it. Any questions, give us a call.